Welcome back to our video series on how to buy the best flatbed. Today we're here to talk about how to prevent damage while being loaded. I'm Dan Upsholdy and we're going to get into that right now. Alright, first up we're here to talk about damage to your side rail. So most of the time when you're hauling flatbed loads and getting loaded, you're going to be loaded from the side with a forklift. And as you can see with this trailer here, there is some damage to the side rail. So what we would recommend on the front end in order to help prevent that would be to beef up this side rail here. Uh, there's some options as far as a uh, half inch. It'll go up to as far as that. Both of the flatbed manufacturers that we represent do offer that upgrade. Additionally, this trailer only has one pipe spool in between the pockets. What our recommendation would be is to do double pipe spools. Not only is it going to add more support to, to your side here, but it's also going to give you additional options when it comes to load securement. So on the front end, those are what we'd recommend in order to have a more durable side rail there. But what if you're being rear loaded? So there is some options to consider on that as most flatbeds are not set up to back up to a dock and have a forklift come down and load you from the rear. So some of the recommendations we would make if you're doing that, first one would be an additional cross member at the rear. We typically recommend that on any flatbed just for some additional support back there towards the end of your trailer. Uh, in order to prevent screws popping or waves in your floor, we do have to look at cross member composition and spacing as well. So an aluminum cross member is going to have more deflection compared to a steel. So you would need to bring those in. If you have aluminum cross members, we would recommend 12 inch at the max uh, to handle that forklift coming on and off of your trailer and to prevent those waves. Uh, if you're steel, you can get away with 16 inches, but you still might want to look at 12 inch cross member spacing. For additional information on that, you could check out our maximized payload video uh, that we did previously. Additionally, uh, aside from cross members and uh, the spacing, we can do a rear tread plate on the back in order to prevent damage from a uh, dock plate coming down on it. Uh, it just adds a little extra support there and will really help you over the long run. Uh, prevent damage and, and keep you on the road. So the most important thing to keep in mind is how your trailer spec'd and is it capable of hauling the load that you're looking to get loaded before you go out and do it. So this model here has a 24 inch cross member spacing and no side cross brace support here. So we would not recommend rear loading it and you'd really have to be careful with what you load on the outside of this rail because uh, it's not set up to support that. So always keep in mind what your trailer is set up to haul before you go out and do it. So this concludes our video on how to prevent damage while being loaded. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Utility Keystone on our social media channels. I'm Dan Upsholdy and we'll see you next time. <music>